So, uh, welcome to uh, Harlow uh, TV, and uh, I'm really pleased to say that uh, joining me after uh, yesterday's game uh, is, of course, Harlow Town's assistant manager, uh, Darren Blewett. So, uh, welcome, Darren, and uh, how are you, mate? Um, thank you, David. Thanks for, um, thanks for contacting me and getting in touch. Um, yeah, I'm really good. Um, a little chat off, off record there, and um, now all is good in my end. I've caught the sun massively today. <laughs> uh, been a naughty boy, not putting the cream on. But um, no, really good. Uh, can't complain a minute after and, and after yesterday's game. Good to be back in the swing of things, mate. It really is. So yesterday, I mean, what was it like to be back on the bench and, and, and back at Arlo, I suppose, is the first thing. Uh, look, look, you can tell, look, I ain't stopped smiling. Um, do you know what? I really, yesterday was, um, I loved it yesterday. It was, um, for me personally, to be back in the dugout, um, with Danny, we prepped, we started pre-season probably three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and have worked, lads have worked really hard, and actually to have that first pre-season friendly, go through the routine of tactics and, and what we're going to do, and um, just to get that back in for the first time. And a lot of lads ain't played for seven, eight, nine months, or maybe longer, um, mm. so they're all good bang and in. But for me, Danny, uh, and the players, it's a, it's a start of um, what we hope is something, something very good this season. So, I mean, yesterday, though, I mean, how many players did you have available yesterday? I mean, like, players that you're going to expect to be playing in the Southern League? I mean, yeah. did you have, like, the full squad available or was there players missing? We, we, or? There's probably one or two missing, um, but but in all, uh, most of the lads there will, will be part of what we're doing this season. Um, we've got a goalkeeper, Tom Woodhurst from uh, QPR, who will be, hopefully, on going this season at number one. Um and probably one or two other additions, but we but what we've got, we're really happy. I mean, me and Danny, we've set out how we want to do things from the start. The lads don't know we want to play, how we know know how we want to play. Um, and most of the lads, as you know, these players we've re-signed, we were there before. Really happy to have them back. They've been brilliant. Um, we have a mix of of other lads, and I think we've got a good blend of a strong core with mm. um with one or two others. And now we're really happy at the minute. We are. We're really happy what we're seeing mm. in training and um. Moving forward, we're in a win a good position. So, what about the game though yourself? I'm happy with the game. You know, did I did I see that uh, according to shirt numbers? I mean, I say I wasn't there myself, but uh, yeah. uh, I mean, was it uh, Jared at right back yesterday? Yeah, we had, we had Jared right numbers. back. Um, yeah, I don't know how happy he was about that, but listen, he <laughs> needs to do a job, and he will do a job when we ask him to do a job. But no, listen, um, we've got Craig Alcott as well. as obviously he's been signed, and um, he'll he he he's he's our natural. Position. Mm. Um, so we'll come back when he's ready. Um, and listen, we've got a strong squad of players that have no problems slotting into places where we want to put them. Uh, good flexibility and good good understanding that it's the best for the team. That's what we and me and Danny. I mean, yesterday was was a prime example. We we look, we mixed the team up. We made eight or nine changes during the game. Um, never easy. We had a goalie sent off, which was um, a bit. It's strong on the rest part, but it is what it is. And um, look, there was they haven't played much football, so I didn't expect much. But I always expect from everything is graft, work hard, and don't let yourself or your team down. And, and but we're happy, you know. They worked hard. Um, good bits of play in there, things we need to work on, but um, we've got the time to do that. And we've, we're, as I say, we've got a good core there, and we're, we're, we're ready to rumble. I think the biggest two things I heard from fans coming out of the game yesterday, though, was the two instances. I mean, the goal, of course, Mr. Dadson back to his uh, putting the ball in the yeah. back of the net, and uh, yeah. and then of course the sending off of the young the young goalkeeper, and yeah. even the referee going to I think he's even going to put a card in. I mean, it's a bit harsh yeah. for a pre-season friendly. Uh, yeah. Listen, look, the goal, the ref was um, it was a it was a bit strong, but it is what it is. Look, it is what it is. Mm. It, it, in the rule of the book, he made the right decision, but. We're looking at it as a pre-season friendly for a kid that's made his debut um, as a 17-year-old, but I suppose he ain't looking at it like that. And 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 mm. in hindsight, we said to the goalie, "You got to learn from this. You got to learn that." Mm. He probably should have cleared the ball anyway, um, and we stopped all that, you know. Um, but he'll learn, and and he'll make him stronger, I'm sure. And um, mm. yeah, and it's good to see. Look, Dad, every time I look at him, it makes me smile. Um, great to have him back. Great lad. Um, scored his goal. And he, um, he enjoys his football, you know, and when he does that, he's a very good player. Um, but look, it's the start of, of, of something going forward that we're, we're excited about. Now. Yeah. I mean, it must be good as well seeing all the fans back as well, because I've seen, but it's, you know, it's quite a, quite a travel for them as well. It was. 
It was. You know what, Dave? Um, over the moon. Look, look, it's a first preseason friendly, a rearranged game as such, um, and we had a decent and we had a decent crowd there. And as we always do, and as we will do, we'll clap them. We'll integrate. We want me and Danny part of the reason Danny brought myself back. Um, just a small part is we want that camaraderie with the fans. We want everyone back. We want everyone on our side. We want to do it together and we want to have a good season, a successful one. And by doing that, we, we will only gain that by the players doing their thing, us as management doing our thing. But we need the fans on our side. We've got great, look, I played at Harlow. I know what it's about. I know once that crowd gets going and they're letting their flares off and they're giving it some, that only will help the players. We've got players that have played in, in, in the promotion team, players that have been around. They know what what having them fans on that side is good. And just to have a few birds yesterday, big flags out again. Um, I had a chat with them a couple before. A um, few compliments. Which I'm surprised for. I, I, I was surprised how, um, how complimentary they were towards me, you know. And um, I really appreciate it, I do, because I've come back here with um, with big expectations and really, really knuckling down and ready to go. You know, I, I'm in a good place and we are, me and Danny, and we work well together already and, and I'm just, I'm just so, I'm grateful to be back. And with the fans on our side, we can, it, it can only help us, you know. And yeah. we're open for more and more that other season. So we want to thank them fans for coming this day. Appreciate it. I see today as well that the Enfield game next week's been, uh, been mm. called off. I mean, uh, disappointed yes. with that. We are disappointed with that. Um, I mean, look, after that, we've got a lot of Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday mm. games up into the season. Um, so there is other games. Um, we will probably look to try and arrange another game. We'd like another for a game, so we'll, we'll put the word out. And in the week, I'm sure you get some news. Um, we'd like a game, and, and whatever happens, I'm sure we will have a game at some point because um, we want to get that. We've set our preseason out how we want it, and we want the game on Saturday. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it that. And of course, first first home game as well. I see Leon Antoine was looking to see when the first one was as well. But that's yeah, I hope uh, he leaves his boots in does. He can leave his boots <laughs> in does. I've seen him lately. No, I haven't. Uh, do you know what? Um, I love Leon. You know, I played with him and, and, and he'll be over soon. And um, Yeah, no, no, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. Love and of course, that's uh, that stand, that stands to Tuesday week. And uh, yep. and then, of course, the following uh, following uh, Friday, of course, the fixtures come out. So that'll be interesting that's to it. see as well. To see, uh, you yeah. know, and I think just before that, the, the, the cut draws come out as well. So it'll be quite interesting to see... Uh, yeah. To see where it is, and I think like, after last year with likes of Hornchurch, who sort of only one division above us, yeah. all of a sudden now, do, you know, do managers, you know, like Danny and that, look at it and go, we can't win this. All of a sudden now, you yeah. know, maybe, maybe the trophy, maybe that uh, teams are looking at going, well, we can win this. Oh, without that, David, listen, we 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 will want to win every single game we play. Yeah, that is it. We ain't going to. We will never go to a game. Me and Danny's mindset is never to go to a game. Um, thinking, ah, oh, not bothered about this, or that if we lose, or, or we'll see what happens. No, we want to win every game, um, yes. and we're, we we will prepare every game to win that game. And we look a cup run. I feel only boosts your league form. I don't agree with the fact that it it hinders it. I don't agree with that at all. Um, we've got a good squad, and we'll have a decent size. We'll have what people need to realise in our squad, and people will see from the outside. We'll have people in position, two players for every position. We will feel comfortable with that player can't play. That player that comes in is as good and we'll be able to benefit our team mm. as good as that player. So, listen, we will go for it. And cup, I think cup, I'm, I'm looking forward to the fixtures coming out. It's a new group of play, teams to play against. Us, we, as we spoke to every player that's come in, Dave, we've, um, we've, 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 told them it, we've sold them on it, the fact that it's a new experience. I mean, everyone's looking at it saying, oh, Carlo, like, oh, I must be annoyed they've got to go and play with these teams. No. It's a new experience, it's a new challenge, new stadiums, new grounds, new teams, new managers. And it's a test, you know. We can't wait. I really can't wait. And um, yeah, we're excited. I think as well, I suppose on the on the league basis as well, for, for, for myself, you know, uh, I mean, you know, the the the, the vice chairman of the league, Anthony Hughes, and uh, you know, very knowledgeable man, speaks really, yeah. really well, you know, and, and holds himself really well. And and the whole league seems to be a real refresh. And and, and mm. I'm I'm really excited to uh, to get going in that league just to see, yeah. you know, where we sit in amongst all that, you know, all those teams in our league. But I suppose fans would like to know, and I'm I'm not sure if you'd know, yeah. or that's what I assume you probably would do with discussion with Danny. I mean, you know, are we still looking at bringing in any more players before the, you know before the start of the season? Uh, you, yeah, yeah, of course. We're always on the lookout. Always on the lookout for players. Any player that will benefit will, will 
enhance our team. We're looking at. Um, mm. We feel we've got a very good squad at the minute. We really do. We're really confident in the boys we've got. Um, but we're we're always on the look. We we, we don't settle for being stale and stagnant. We we mm. always looking. Um, and listen, you probably see another one or two maybe come in. Um, if you don't. Would it be the end of the world for me? Not necessarily. I feel we've got a really strong squad. Um, and our ambition, we're very ambitious this year. It's not a fact of turning up this year. It's a fact of it's having a right go, you know? Well, I thought you was just about, about to, well, I thought you was just about to say if we don't get any more in, you're gonna to have to put the shirt and boots back on yourself. Oh, leave it up. Oh, oh. Look, <laughs> <laughs> Danny was speed me up, but you know what? Um, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I still think I could do it. You know, do you know what? I come back and I'm I'm honest and open. I'll say, look, I come back and when I went back on that pitch for the first time, first training session with the lads, as a as a system manager, as a putting on a session, um, I was a bit jealous. You know, I wanted to join in, um, but what I did realise in the warm up very quickly that <laughs> the left foot still works. <laughs> but the body don't want to move, so I'll leave it to the lads. All right, and I've seen some, and the, what we've put them through. Um, no, nah, I've, I've done miss pre seasons and that side of things, so, but but um, it gives me another a different, different buzz, you know. I'm so yeah, I am bringing enthusiasm, intellect. I feel I'm in a good place to really enhance our team and what I can bring. Mm. Danny wouldn't have brought me in otherwise, and. And now I'm excited, mate. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Well, listen, mate, we wish you and Danny all the best. Hopefully, we'll have another chat after the next game as well, which yep. uh, maybe next Saturday, if not on Tuesday. And uh, and so I'm looking forward to meeting up with you again on Tuesday, Tuesday week. And uh, um, and we'll see you then. But thanks for tonight, for today. I really appreciate it. No problem, Dave. And thank you for everyone that came the other day. And we look forward to seeing all the fans every week. Thank you very Magic. much.